What's going on? This is true, man. Let's talk about this shit. Uh, since we're climbing up the ladder right now, who y'all think, other than the bosses I showed y'all that got the job done, who y'all really think behind Dolph, Mo3 Def, as one big ass collective? Find that kind of interest, interesting collective. That's what y'all represent to one big ass collective. But it seems like we know all y'all names. What to do about it uh, is a whole nother process. You see, True can show y'all the players. True can, True can put them up with dates, times. True can show y'all where the, where the uh, paper trail lead. But what True can't show y'all is every single thing that he has on these people. They know it's, it's insurance. I gotta have insurance to protect myself the best I can. So yes, information is spread around to a lot of different people. That's common sense in this game, you know? I wouldn't even make, I wouldn't be able to make another video uh, just straight dropping the bond check. I gotta learn how to read between the lines, but then most importantly, with me, I make it so easy. You ain't gotta read between the lines. Check the photos, listen to what I say, and, uh. You'll have information that I have. At least you'll have the ability to think beyond the box. So Jay-Z is running this shit. He running this shit filtered. I know what it means. I know how they play the game. You bring somebody up, somebody got to go down. You know what I'm saying? That's, how I, that's what y'all got to represent to Jay-Z. Nothing more than a uh, puppet on a string. He know it. He don't give a fuck. Whatever is in his mind from the hustling day, he'll never be satisfied with enough. You know what I'm saying? He ready to kill his own kind and listen to a motherfucker that has done the same for many, many years. Yes, Jigga My Nigga is, is very dangerous and uh don't give a fuck. But he's also very smart. So if you think you give a fuck about your guy or the South for that matter, I can't I can't jump in a man button and say he he do a dunk, but I know from New York, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that history between the South and New York, that shit just don't disappear. And if we country bumpkins, well, if you want to take over, take over, you'll go get somebody and get in the, and and pit them against each other. Young Young Dolph. And Memphis, think about how these corporate folks looking at it, and that's who Jay Z run with, corporate folk. You know what I'm saying? They done lost the music business, they done lost the music industry, compliments of social media, and uh, now it's real cutthroat, and uh, heads are being chopped the fuck off. Now, what would Jay Z be talking about in a corporate meeting way before God even had a, <laughs> the balls to step foot on the White House lawn? Who you think brought them there? You know what I'm saying? And he brought the whole goddamn conglomerate to the White House. In case y'all know these names, it was more than just money bag, yo. All the motherfucking niggas sitting at the table was at the White House. So, this nigga named Keon, remember? The one in North Carolina. Yo got his uh, right-hand man. Well, you know, y'all forgot. In 2018, he was sentenced to 10 to 14 years for uh, 40, 50 shots. Half of half of what Black Youngster allegedly did. That's the only time I'm say that bullshit because I had to. Uh, 40, 50 shots in the hotel lobby at the Hyatt in North Carolina. Uh, right where C.J. Davis was glad was. That's our chief of police who on the, she even got the job done. So no telling where she probably not even make it till the goddamn January. She ready to go, uh, whatever they promised her, she ready to go get her reward and catch up with your sister girl. But uh, yeah, his name Howard, Keon, Davis. Yeah, you know, he jumped out the car after he tried to take out Dolph with the 40 and the 50 uh, in, the, in the lobby of the Hyatt. At four fucking forty-five in the morning, yeah, he jumped out of the car with a rifle, you know, a little, little, little assault rifle and a gun. Uh, police got his ass. They ain't kill him. They took God in. I remember all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Questioning all that. He got out. Scott got it. Released without charges in, in both incidences. And uh, your boy took the file. Well, guess what? I didn't say I didn't see Kiwan standing right next to Jay Z. 
you got a photo of that. Of course, with all these videos coming photos and uh, visual evidences to back up what I'm saying. And for those who don't know how to go to my True Results community post, just go on my main, where you, the beginning, True Results page, not a video. It got to be the main page and then tap on community. And there you'll find all the damn photos I've been telling y'all ass about. I hear a dude email me and ask me. Everybody, we don't see, don't know what it, well, that's where you find them at, because that's what it, that's what a community post is. Uh, no loyalty. Just playing. Okay, so that's why I wanted to come here and uh, chime in and put that on y'all mind while I'm writing this big ass, long ass script for part three with uh, details. Hopefully, I have me another goddamn laptop by the end because, man, if I wouldn't have broke my fucking laptop, I would have been there to do what I always do. Y'all know True started off editing for the auto. Well, y'all think I just pick up the, the phone. You got to know something wrong. I ain't been able to show y'all shit. I need my MacBook gone. So when, maybe y'all pitch in for this shit. Cash up, dollar sign, true result number two. See, I, then I can tell a real story like I've been doing, like I did in the Mo 3K. But uh, it is what it is. Y'all like, share, subscribe, always support. Just came through. My hand got, you know, you gotta, my hand got tired in my brain. You know what I'm saying? Because part three gonna have to be, it's gonna have to represent what everything I've been doing since November, I ain't gonna say the 17th, cause that's the day we found out, but day after uh, that night, it began with me, Justice for Dolph, and uh, for almost a damn year. I'm um, part three gonna have to be the epitome of uh, all my work, and uh, a couple of other people too, you know, I ain't like everybody else, you know, every, every little bit helps, whether it's indirect, uh, I just survive all the bullshit and stay out the bullshit and keep my uh, head on swivel out here. And uh, I do it for y'all. We just need everybody on this one. This is the only way you take down the giants, people. It's together. True, man. I'm going to holler back.